in the first week of February. From the 9th to the 11th of February, I'll be at Fully Charged, or it's now called Electrify Everything in Australia, in Sydney. I'll be doing a few sessions there, live sessions, and I'd love to see you. But even more important than that, guys, whether or not you want to see me or just see some other people or just see electric cars and electric technology, it's going to be an amazing show. If you want to get tickets there, you should. You should go see it. They're 20% off if you use my promo code. I will put my promo code in the description below. So you can click on the link, jump on, get 20% off your tickets. Now that 20% discount applies to all ticket types. So not one type, but all ticket types and all days. This year alone, solar panels coming from China have come down in price by approximately 40%. That's insane. That means that over the past decade, the price of a solar panel has come down by over 90% based on what you're getting. Now, not the price of an actual panel itself, but the price on the actual amount of energy you can get out of that panel. So essentially the value you're getting. Solar panels have never been cheaper, it's ridiculous, but it might seem like they could never be cheaper than this. They're so cheap, it's just like how could things be, any, how could prices become any lower? However, experts are saying this is nowhere near the bottom. They're saying that solar panels are going to come down to levels that most people just cannot possibly fathom. Meaning, it could be cheaper to get a solar panel than a, a fast food meal. I'm joking, I'm exaggerating, but um, yeah, this is the future of the world. This is the key reason why I keep on saying solar and batteries are taking over the wind in industry, also taking over things like hydrogen, coal power, gas power, geothermal, Solar panels and batteries are coming down in price and anticipated to come down in price by so much that they will dominate everything else within the next decade, say experts. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Guys, I'll be at Fully Charged Live this February. So February of 2024, it's only two months away between the 9th to the 11th of February. It's in Sydney. Uh, the show has been renamed to electrify everything and it's going to be great fun i'd love to see you there by the way i have a discount code you get 20 percent off tickets i'll put the code in the description so make sure you come along it'll be a whole lot of fun and you know if you're there and you're around i'd love to meet you solar module prices have hit record lows this year but experts are saying they're likely to halve again by 2040. now the thing that's driving down the cost it's not only the fact that uh, the prices for the materials going into these solar panels have hit record lows this year. They've come down enormously. In fact, the material prices have come down by 50%. It's also the fact that efficiency has improved so much. I mean, efficiency of solar panels was very low about 20 years ago, and it's gradually improved every single year. We're now seeing efficiency of panels hitting around 24%. But by the time we hit 2040, Experts predict this, this efficiency will be more likely to hit around 35%. And if we look at solar PV, if we look at these new hybrid solar panels, they're actually already returning historical numbers of 32.8%. And those records just keep on getting broken continuously. So whilst those may not be the type of panels, we may not use necessarily the panels we're seeing these records being broken on. It doesn't really matter because efficiency of just everyday solar panels continues to improve. And at the same time, because more and more panels are being sold, this actually helps to reduce the cost. It's Moore's law. You sell more, it's cheaper to manufacture them. The meteoric rise of solar PV, the quiet conqueror of coal on fossil fuel dominated electricity grids around the globe per reneweconomy.com.au is showing no sign of slowing down as prices of the renewable energy generation technology continue to fall. And this is defying market predictions. Guys, I have been kind of criticized and mocked because I continue to say that solar panels will come down in price consistently. People say, you're just a stupid optimist, but it is happening and it will continue to happen. The same goes for batteries. Within the past two months, more battery projects have been announced worldwide than in any other two month period in human history. I mean, battery projects are being announced every single day. There's so many of them. I don't think I could even, if I had a video channel just dedicated to new battery projects around the world, I couldn't keep up. There are so many going on. 
Between 2020 and 2022, solar module prices actually rose due to the supply chain fallout. And that was all around COVID-19 problems. But since then, prices have fallen. And in fact, prices on average in general have come down by 10 to 15% every single year for around 15 years. Now here's some actual data. In 2023, the downward march of module prices has resumed, reaching a historical low of $150 per kilowatt. That's in Australian dollars. So that's around about 100 US dollars per kilowatt. That's a price drop of 42% from 2020, 42%. So even though we saw prices go up for those two COVID pandemic years, from 2020 to 23, the price has now fallen by 42%. At the same time though, the efficiency of those same panels has risen by approximately 10%. So the prices actually haven't come down by 42%, but based on the yields, they've actually come down by more than 50%. That's a three year period, three years. So to predict that panel prices will come down by an additional 50% between now and 2040, might be even a bit pessimistic if you think about it. This week, new research has predicted that the wholesale cost of solar modules will halve again by 2040. The report from Rethink Technology Research. By the way, this is Tony Seabar. This is where he has been involved. And he's been predicting solar panel price declines now since 2014. Everyone said he was crazy. I mean, I remember watching his videos many, many years ago and he inspired me to start a YouTube channel. People said he was crazy. But now they say he was like some kind of prophet because his predictions have almost always been correct. Based on at time of writing, the cost of silicon solar module fresh from the production line in China per Rethink X of $154 per kilowatt will fall again to US $92. That's nine cents per watt by 2030 and US $71 by 2040, a 53% decrease. So we're gonna see panel prices come down by 53% between now and 2040. If you're gonna believe anyone's predictions, I think Rethink X is, they're the people to believe, considering they've been far more correct than any other organization worldwide. What this means is that not only will panel prices come down by, well, between 40 to 60%, but the efficiency of those panels is likely to continue to increase by, what? 5% per year, even if it only increased by say 1% per year. That would mean yields from those panels could potentially double at the same time. As you can see, it's just nothing else to compete with this. The costs of nuclear always blow out. And even if we do have small nuclear reactors, they're great, but they always cost more than it sounds like they will. They take longer to deploy. They're complicated. Solar panels and batteries just appear to be the perfect solution and the cost of both of them continue to fall. Whereas the cost of everything else hasn't been falling. In fact, in many cases, the cost of many other energy sources has in fact gone up. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And thank you for watching.